Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So what we have here is the iPad mini. I think this is version 2. I had this as a project in the past so I thought like why why don't I why don't I show you how to uh, create this lighting. So this is the reference photo photo of what we need to do. I had like I said, I had this in the in the past. I guess I needed to do this for my project, so that's how I get the idea. Let's quickly analyze what we have in this image. We have, of course, iPad model in its position, and as you can see here on this left side, on this edge, you have mostly a lot of light on the center of the edge and it goes almost to the end here and here so it's centered the lighting is centered here and another light is is around here again on the center of the edge now here on the corners we have these black areas with not a lot of light and in the middle somewhere in the middle we have this uh, small light that is uh, like gradient light which is here pretty pretty light but is quickly disappearing into the black again so that's that's our goal for today and, and it's actually not so hard to do so let's start uh, my mistake was that I used in the past uh, black <laughs> environment where I wanted to add lights but this time we're gonna make so yeah we're gonna make new environment of course uh, wrong button we go to HDRI editor we, you can also use Keyshot 4, 5 or even 3 I think for this tutorial I'm using 6 so we go to file new HDRI and for background color we're gonna use use this scale not the RGB we're gonna use something like 0070 so that's our like 7% of yellow which should help us to get this uh, look click OK I believe this resolution is enough you can you can use more I don't wanna I don't wanna stress my PC create and as you can see now everything is very light so now we need to add pins and we go to set highlight hold control and click somewhere around here click done and let's bring back this thing I'm gonna make it slightly smaller uh, so what we can see what we are doing okay now this light should actually be black and let's see about the size we should actually switch to rectangular shape and I think the position of this uh, the position of this thing is not perfect yeah we actually need to switch to alpha uh, mode so we can have it black and not white now uh, we need to make sure the position of this light is perfect so let's go again to set highlight and click without holding control somewhere around the middle of this fillet here done now of course I forgot to say I will leave you somewhere this scene so you can download as you can see here we have uh, paint metallic material and for this edge especially we have especially we have metal so we have uh, separated these to get that look that's what I forgot to say now let's get back to lighting I think we actually need uh, a rectangular we just need to change the size of this thing so we can maybe make even smaller on y-axis 
something like 25 and on X we need more And as you, as you can see, while we are adding this light, the scene is getting normal. It's not so light, light and without contrast. It starts to look better. And another thing that we, are, we have to do is... Yeah, as you can see, we cannot cover this, this corner like in this scene. Our black pin is covering only this area so we need to uh, use for this case two of them so I'm just gonna go to set highlight you can see here I have like 90 and 25 I'm gonna go to set highlight and move this slightly to the left more that's maybe too much yeah this is perfect so looking at this left edge it looks almost perfect and we're gonna go here and right click duplicate and go to set highlight don't do not uh, call, hold control just click here on right part of this corner more to the right more to the left So, something like this, we're gonna make this, this second pin smaller, so let's bring back the size and go down. And this is <laughs> for some reason creating opposite of what we wanted. Let's uh, hide pin number one. Okay, so we can see now what we did with pin two. We need to highlight again. It should be something like... We're really close. I'm just not having luck with setting it here. Let's try making it smaller. Okay, we have like something like 37 okay I haven't used so 22 37 or 38 let's see here maybe 40 45 50 Let's see about this dimension. Aha, uh -huh, this one is also helping. So, let's use 23, 24. Yeah, 24, 50. Something like this. Should work. And we can make this fall off slightly bigger. No, not that big. Yeah, this is perfect. Now let's bring back pin number one. Now it looks better. Okay. And let's set the same fall off for pin number one because it was 0 0.125 for this one. And we have finished half of this job. Um, here it's like I'm having just a small glitch my yeah my lighting is not perfect let's see how to make it better size 30 no that's not gonna help us I'm actually <laughs> changing dimensions of the wrong pin I should click on pin number two let's try again 25 yeah 25 50 now it's a lot better 
and once we have that done on this corner we can just go to add pin, add image pin this time and in Photoshop I have created, let's just see where is it what the fuck is this okay I have created this gradient light so that's what we are gonna use, I'm also gonna leave link for this one and that gradient light should be somewhere around here slightly more to the left I think it should be somewhere on the middle of the edge I think let's check the image yeah something like this and it starts right here and it goes up so yeah that's pretty similar to what we have on the image let's just make it little more to the left okay maybe we could crank up the brightness okay and also the pin number one or let's actually try change, changing the size of this thing so, on Y, forty by twenty, or let's leave it like this and just change the pin number one. We need more or not darkish here. Yeah, we just need slightly more black around here so to get that we just need to make this first pin slightly bigger let's try 100 no 25-30 that's helping but it's too much so something like 28 yeah and that was example so of course you wanna go and save this save HDRI so once you're done with all of these let's say three corners because we can work only on three corners this is how the HDRI is looking like in HDRI editor you have around 8 pins of course save that and I have to say it's not easy to manage this angle this corner here and this one is actually pretty easy to do but once you start working on this one you <laughs> need to take care of this one as well because lighting on this area is affecting lighting on this area but I think I have made pretty good results here as you can see this is almost perfect just like the original photo of course I haven't really um, worked on the rest of the image but I, that's something I can uh, still work on and manage better in Photoshop where I can uh, separate its two layers and then easily uh, finish this composition of course that was it was not the the tutorial goal here was to show how to use lighting in the key shot and also what you can do as you can as you have seen in the editor I have used black uh, lights black pins to to manage these corners and I have used gradients I made in Photoshop to make this small gradient light but we, what you can also do is try using uh, black gradients that you can make in Photoshop or something like that instead of using these basic pins 
inside of key shot. Of course, like I said, this is not easy to do. Uh, so I'm gonna leave somewhere the the whole scene so you, you can take a look, you can study on it, see how everything is done and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed in this video and see ya in my next one. Bye bye.